Hey, good morning everyone. Thursday morning, the 25th of March, 2021. This morning's devotional is a reading from John chapter 13, reading verse 34, which reads, A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. Why are some people so caring for others, while others remain so selfish? Is it even possible for a selfish person to become caring? Scriptures tell of many people who change their treatment of others after an encounter with Jesus. For example, no one could believe the change in the life of Zacchaeus, who was a corrupt tax collector who returned four times the amount of money he stole from others after his meeting with Jesus. Perhaps your own life changed dramatically when you first encountered Jesus and his teaching. Perhaps it changed gradually, like-minded. I think people would have been shocked if I had a drastic change in my life. You may also know people who profess to know Jesus, but remain selfish and uncaring. Perhaps they are in the process of surrendering to the Holy Spirit. Only time will tell. Compassion for others is not something that we wake up with and decide today is the day. Our lives and behaviors are only transformed to the degree that we allow our hearts to be changed by God. As we surrender to the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. If we are consumed by ourselves, God's love is not in us and our ability to care for others is muted. Ask God to enable you to see others through His eyes. No love is more, is more powerful an agent of change than God's perfect love for us. Take a moment to reflect on your own care for others. Is there anything in your heart that has not been open to the work of the Holy Spirit moving you towards compassion for others? If there is, pray about it. We tend to underestimate the power of persistent and honest prayer. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. My dear friends, another huge challenge for each and every one of us. Trust Him and have faith. There is no place in God's kingdom for arrogance. With those words, may the Lord be with you, may He bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.